There you go. There you go. It's in and it's riding on the top. The number is all facing up. That's what we want. Now we're going to go and give it a generous amount of our lube as well. Our Mobile One Synthetic. Great for wheel bearings, especially. All right. Because this is the pins on it, riding it smoothly. There we go. Very tight. That's what we want. See this right here? It's, it's lubing this as well. That way no oil gets out of it. It still will spin, but it won't have any oil leaking out of it. There we go. Give a generous portion here. Make sure it gets into the bearing mainly. You don't want to just cover the housing. You want to actually get into the bearing. So that's what I'm focusing on, getting into the bearings. where it gets pretty messy okay let's go and check on our gasket here we might have to get another spray on it uh, because in order to get a good thickness on it we have to do a couple of coats but sit for about five minutes and reapply the coat again okay this should be good enough here that last one here generous amount of bearing okay give it a twirl Make sure it eats the bearings or lube in there. Uh, gear oil is going to be pretty much the one that actually makes sure it's all lube. But the bearing part, it needs to be also, uh, we use synthetic, that way it doesn't interfere again with the gear oil. It's just, and it's, it lasts longer in there. It won't wash out with the synthetic, uh, synthetic won't wash out that easily. And it won't mix in well with the, um, it won't mix in. Uh, cor incorrectly with the gear oil, but the mold oil will be a little bit more difficult to put the gears in. Okay, now we got all our gears in there as well. So we changed out all the gears. Um, you can see here we changed out all the gears, and now we're ready to go and put back in our uh, crankcase that we actually had to pull back out. Unfortunately, we should put that a little bit later, but now we kind of know the step. So we want to make sure we're going to change the seal. We got to do it first. And the other one, there's one more seal that we need to do right now, and that's on the other side of the timing uh, timing uh, cover. So let's go and get the timing cover, and we'll put that last seal on there. That way we can be done with all the seals. See that sealed right there? This one, there's that sealed there. That's the last uh, small seal. Good thing about the crankcase side, left and right, they both take the same, uh, pretty much the two smaller seal. And that would be pretty much easy now. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and get this sealed. There we go. Get a towel for my hands here. Okay, we're going to just go and pull this sealed out. This is really no good to us anymore. So we're going to go and pull this sealed out. You can see me pull it out right here. A little better lighting over here in this area. Let's take the pliers, since it's already been damaged, so you can see here, the springs, it's coming off already, so we're going to just break it off, and then we're going to go ahead and yank the rest of it off. Be careful, you don't want to, um, uh, you know, cause any harm to the housing, we just want to 